Cooper, I have no idea how I'm gonna record this video, dude. Always make sure to use your animal to pull the sympathy card. Come here, puppy. Hi, little muppy. How are you doing today? Do you want daddy to give you this chip? Would you be sad if daddy went to jail because he did bad illegal things? Mara, come on, let's be honest. Would you be sad if daddy went to jail? Because I love you so much. She's my little poo poo head. Yeah, you only love me because I have food. Yeah, you would have no one to feed you if I went to jail. So lesson one, you know, start off your video if you fucked up with using your little animal. Because it'll always, always guarantee people to feel like so sorry for you if you use your animal in the start of your videos. That's the number one thing to do if you fuck up on YouTube. Just put your animal in the starting title. All right, guys, so uh, I'm gonna try to make this as short and sweet as possible. I don't wanna take up too much of your time. But first and foremost, I do wanna say that I love you guys. You guys seriously mean the world to me. You have for the past six years that I've been on YouTube and you honestly have changed my life. Like every single day I get to wake up and chase my dreams and follow my passions and that's all been made possible by you guys. Oh, I feel so special. Every day you get to wake up and realize that your dreams have been met. You know, you're starting the video off with, I love you. I mean, I feel so special. I feel so validated that you, T. Martin, that you love me, that you care about me as a viewer. Like, I've never had a YouTuber tell me that before. Um, and it's even more ironic because you did something fucked up and illegal. So, you know, always tell your fans that you love them when you've done something really, really bad. Just don't make a video saying, I did this, I admit to it. No. You know, you gotta pander to your audience a little bit, right? You gotta be sincere and genuine. <laughs> so thank you guys for everything that you've done for me and all the opportunities and memories that you've allowed me to create. Now, my connection to CSGO Lotto has been a matter of public record since the company was first organized in December of 2015. However, I do feel like I owe you guys an apology. I am sorry to each and every one of you who felt like that was not made clear enough to you. Oh really? You're sorry that it was not made, quote, not made clear enough for you. Um, explain something to me, Martin. <laughs> explain this, please, please explain this one. In all of your CSGO lobby videos that you've made on YouTube with over like 2 million plus views, you've exclusively said, and I quote, Hey guys, look at this new website that I found. I found this cool new website that I won thousands upon thousands of dollars worth of virtual gun skins from. Look at this new site. I've never found this website before. Look at this new website. I'm going to promote it in my video. Yeah. So what indication does that give people that you actually own the website itself? When you say, hey, I've discovered a new website. No, you didn't discover anything. You own it. So where do you discover this website from? Why would you say that you discovered something that you own? Isn't that called, mmm, um, lying? Lying? So what indication have you have, have given to, to your audience, the people who watch you, that this was not the case? Because that's pretty deceptive. If you're telling people, I found this new website, you should go use this new website I found because I've won thousands of dollars when you own it. Yeah, that's not shady at all. That's not skeptical. That's not scammy-ish at all, right? <laughs> oh my god. And uh, I truly, honestly hope that you guys give me an opportunity to earn your trust back. No. No, not at all. I'm not going to give you a shed of trust. Because you knowingly deceive people by what you've said, saying that it's, an, it's something that you've never found. You found this new website when you own it. That That's the most deceptive fucking thing. That's like... It's like a casino owner who owns a multi-million billion dollar casino knowing uh, gambling at his own casino with civilians, but the civilians don't know that the gambler, the owner of the casino, knows how to win all of his bets and how to bypass the machines and how the machines work because he he's the owner, right? So naturally, if he knows how to win bets against normal people gambling at his place, 
that's kind of a rigged system and that's illegal. You don't see a casino owner gambling on his own website, which is exactly what you've done here. You've promoted yourself um, just lying to people saying that this is something that you discovered. You should go watch it. You, and you got millions of people to, to use your site when you owned it is one of the most deceptive things you can do. Uh, and you're not a trustworthy person, not at all. Uh, so no, you're not going to build my trust back with your scummy apology video, which you've now removed, which is funny because now I'm refilming this after that. Please also know that I am committed to making sure that my YouTube channel, as well as all of my other businesses, are in compliance with the law. Yeah, you say that, but it's a bit too late for that. The problem with that is you can't say, and I'm using this as an example, this is extreme, hey, I distributed child pornography, I know it was illegal, but I'm not going to do it anymore. No, what you still did was illegal, and you're still going to get charged for doing that act. What you've done here is illegal. First of all, you didn't make any statements anywhere in any single one of your videos. Believe me, I've checked and looked um, that announced that you were the co-owner, that you owned this website, that you were sponsoring yourself, however the fuck that works. And here's the thing. I don't care the fact that you have a website like this that you own. I have the fact that you promote it in such a way to make people think that you don't own it, that you're not actually affiliated with there's There's no indication anywhere on your channel that you were affiliated with this website because you were an owner. No place. Believe me, I've checked. H3H3 Productions has checked. Doesn't exist. And you going on damage control mode, having to go back and archive all your videos and now put on that you're affiliated with CSGO Lobby only after you got called out just shows what a scumbag you really are. Because once you put something on the internet, I've learned this lesson when I fucked up, it's on there forever. If you go and try to change it and edit it uh, months after it's already been posted, uh, there's archive logs of the original posts, which have shown that you've only added that recent stuff in there like two days ago. Uh, so no, uh, you never made it public that you were the owner of this website, and it is fucked up that you do this now. This is why I do not condone minors under the age of 18 to use CSGO Lotto. This is and always has been a clearly stated policy available both in the terms of service as well as the initial sign up page on the website. So my question to you would be then how do you monitor if a 13 year old is gambling on your website? Because I do know for a fact that a large part of these virtual gun skins are are purchased and are gambled by young kids between the ages of like 13 and 15. There's a large audience of kids who play CSGO um, who are involved with this type of stuff. How then do you monitor? Because real gambling, you have to have to show your ID that you're 18, right? Uh, you can't just buy a scratch ticket. You can't buy a lotto ticket. You have to show your ID that you're actually of age to buy, uh, to gamble. Um, and here, they don't need to be 13. What keeps someone from signing up to your website and gambling with their p mother's credit card and all that shit when they're 13 years old? Like, do you have any way to check if they're actually 13 or 18? No, of course not. I have people who, who watch my age-restricted YouTube videos all the time, and you need to be 18 in order to do that. But guess what? They lie about their age. It's so easy to do. I've seen a lot of people focusing on the under the age of 13 section of our privacy policy. All this section states is that we do not knowingly record information of children under the age of 13 years old in compliance with the COPPA Act. This has nothing to do with and does not mean that we condone minors under the age of 18 to play on the site. Also, and this is very important to me, I believe that every game offered on CSGO Lotto has been legitimate and I am committed to making sure that that remains true. Yeah, this is a funny part. I believe that every uh, gamble and every process of CSGO Lotto has been legitimate. I believe, as someone who owns the website, you would think you would say, I know for a fact that there has never been any scams. But you, you say, I believe. That's a key word in your phrasing there. I believe. No, the, the, what I want to know, and here's the thing, I don't care that you two own the website. Um, I don't have a problem with people owning it as long as you, from the beginning, disclose that you owned it despite you promoting it all the time. And now Syndicate's like, oh, I'm going to be more transparent from now on. Fuck you, Syndicate. Fuck you, Martin. I, I hate both of you. I've always hated you two. You, I've always hated those two YouTubers long before this drama ever started. Like, I hate both of them. And this just fuels the fire of my deep, utter hatred for fucking scumbag, greedy little shits like these people. I believe that they're legitimate. Well, I believe is not the same thing as I know. 
and I don't buy your thing. And what I'm really hoping is that you and Syndicate grow the balls to admit that your system was rigged for you guys. So all those thousands, you know, big skins, they're all fucking fake. They're fake reactions because you knew in advance that you were going to get these things because you were the owners of the site. Like, does that not come, does that not process through people's brains? And already a streamer who's been a part of the website already said that it was rigged and that he got free skins just for participating in a sponsorship with the fucking thing. Which leads me to believe that the whole system of the CSGO betting was rigged from the start with people like yourself who own it and get these gi thousands and thousands of dollars worth of jackpot, worth of virtual skins, and blah, 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 blah. And it, it quite frankly is crazy to me how people can do what you've done here and completely violate FTC regulation on, you know, talk saying that, hey, I'm being sponsored by this product. Like, uh, I'm sponsored with Audible, and people know that I'm sponsored with Audible. And it would be pretty shady if I was the CEO of Audible.com, the company manager, and I'm like, yeah, I'm going to promote my own product, but you don't know that I'm actually the CEO of Amazon. <laughs> yeah, that would not go over very well through the FTC. Um, I would get in huge trouble for that type of stuff. If I review a product on my vid videos, which I've done before, and it's I'm being paid to do it, I always mention that, hey, I'm being paid to do this. They gave me this product for free. That's what you're required to do by law. And it's only now after being caught out by this shit and you've tried changing that, oh, I've been doing this the whole time. No, you haven't. You've only been doing this the past two days trying to update all your videos so you can backpedal and not go into any more damage control than you already are. And now that you've removed this apology video, further proves the no notion that I think that this system has been rigged and has been rigged from the get-go. And you've been scamming thousands of people out of virtual money, especially little kids. And let me tell you something. If you're a kid watching this, save your goddamn money. You're 13, 14, 15 years old. Save your money. Use your money. Use it wisely. Don't spend it $5,000 on virtual skins. You're an adult. Even if you're an adult, don't spend money. You, you, you can spend money however you feel free to do. It's your money. You do whatever you want. But as a person who has spent money on virtual items before, it is not worth it. It is not worth it. Invest your money in a car. Invest your money into school. Invest your money in something that is worthwhile. In a video game, not virtual skins that go on a gun that ultimately deplete you of finances because later in life getting a 13 14 15 year old addicted to gambling that is fucked up 13 14 year olds don't have the discretion the the ability to just differentiate between when they're like 25 years old and oh my god i've spent fifteen thousand dollars in the past six years on skins like that's it you're gonna wake up one day and you're gonna realize why did i spend that much money on things that ultimately had no value other than a virtual value in currency um virtual skins then save and use my money for something that be worthwhile in my life that I can use for the future to benefit myself and make myself a better person and have things that I actually need. I don't know. That's just my thoughts on, on gambling in general. I think gambling, I don't mind if people gamble if they're of age, but like kids, like spending thousands upon thousands of dollars, which has happened already, buying these skins is just really irresponsible and to have a site like this which endorses and condones that type of behavior and have someone lie and feed their fans which a lot of, a lot of their fans are very very young into going to a site which they own but you know present it as they don't own it it's just the worst fucking illegal scummy fucking thing you can possibly do those are my thoughts on the whole t martin syndicate thing since everybody's been asking me uh, if you want to see if you're confused by this video is linked down below in the description h3h3 productions and a video in this in full you can watch it my name is Daniel Solzbach. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and have a fantastic rest of your day.